This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well, then cheers, Grace. Help me. Cheers, memory hard. Wowie, wowie, wow. Mm -hmm. You know what's crazy is... (laughs) Other than everything all the time, constantly, no one. My current brain (laughs) is that I feel like lately since I've been out of town and we've like both been so busy that normally when I see you, I hadn't like seen you in... A minute, but yeah. we actually spent kind of the weekend together. Yeah, we spent the weekend, and yet mm. I have a feeling there's still so much I don't know about the time <laughs> apart that we've had. <laughs> I mean, it fills up pretty quick, man. I feel like we talked about Mercury going out of retrograde, and it was like, woo! And I feel like I had like a couple really solid good days. Yeah. And the last week, I feel like I've been getting my ass kicked by the universe. Just, ca- yeah. When I think I have a handle, when I uh-huh. think I'm spinning all the plates. When I'm drinking a handle, when I'm yep. eating all the plates. When I'm, <laughs> when I'm drinking a handle and then trying to spin plates, and I'm like, look at me, be the best at this. The reality is that I'm yeah. just dropping them and breaking them everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's uh, peaks and valleys of, I fucking got this. And yeah. Oh, how am I allowed to even attempt any of this right and now? The whole daylight savings of it all ah. will throw you for a loop de loop. And it's so funny because I saw someone had tweeted this bit from PF Tompkins, Paul F. Tompkins. Yeah. Uh, where he's just talking about like what a baby you are if you complain so much. She's like, it's one hour. You didn't just get off a flight from Australia. <laughs> but still, it is like more of an emotional. Yeah. It's like morning. It is that. I Morning had, your nights. I had the joy of waking up and realizing that I had an extra hour of sleep. Oh. I met with the, you know, nighttime pain of realizing that at 4.30, it feels like 8 o'clock at night. And, mm-hmm. uh-oh, I forgot what this depressive state felt like uh, 365 days ago. Seasonal <laughs> depression, baby. <laughs> also, do you think... Tompkins- Sorry, I just <laughs> ate some spicy plantain <laughs> chips. So if you get a waft, I apologize. Uh... I wonder, does he ever get confused for P.F. Chang's, which is a no, <laughs> but the P.F. He is the he is the second most famous P.F. P- that's, yeah, <laughs> that should be his Twitter bio. That should be his Twitter. Here you go. Here's our gift to you, P.F. Tompkins. Yeah. Does anyone else go by P.F. besides Chang and Tompkins or someone trying to say P.S. but has a tongue thrust? <laughs> I, uh, P.F. I love you. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, Paul Tompkins is the one who I've said. When I used to go to the gym in my neighborhood, yes. he would be writing emails the whole time yeah. while doing the elliptical without using his hands. And I was like, how does that man balance? Yeah, uh, it's, it's uh, the mystery and magic of the PF. The power of the <laughs> mustache. Um, dude, yeah. Mary has had a big week. OK, what and how ha- what's going on? OK, Mary, the dog walker of beans, Mary, who we love. Mary. The surrogate mother of beans. Aunt Mary. Not mother, Aunt Mary. Aunt Mary. Oh, she okay. says, I'm Aunt Mary. Oh, okay, okay. She's an aunt to all dogs. <laughs> um, I, what day was it? I think it was, it was right before I was going out to Palm Springs. Yeah. So it was, it was Tuesday night. Last I, Tuesday, okay. I'm dead ass asleep. Dead ass. Dead ass. If I'm, you come to our show, you'll know <laughs> why that's so funny to us. Dead ass, I'm asleep. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Chip is out of town and I, always have my ringer off at night because i've i've said he like he can he would wake up if like a moth landed on him chip yeah okay i thought you were saying your ringer no no (laughs) so like i do my do not disturb the moon button you know what i mean i've hit the moon button and i've learned that sometimes the moon button stays on and then i have to realize i have to turn the moon button off right and that i've been mooning for weeks (laughs) yeah i have no idea i didn't even know the moon was a thing until we started dating (laughs) and there was one night where he goes do you really have to hear all your email alerts the entire night? And because I keep my phone under my pillow like a goddamn tooth fairy or something. And wait, with like vibrate on and all that? No, I just sleep. I sleep pretty hard. Yeah. And I think I just had it like turn really low. And there, there was just one night I got a million emails okay. and like it wasn't on. And okay. I didn't wake up once. But he just like heard it. It sounded like someone was playing a slot machine. Um, <laughs> but so anyway, it's 2.30 in the morning. Dead ass. I'm asleep. Dead ass. Mm-hmm. And I get a call and I'm like, what the fuck? And I look and it's Aunt Mary <gasps> at 2.30 in the morning. First of all, I'm so out of it. Immediately, I just go, what's wrong with Beans? Beans is beside me sleeping in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Not does Aunt Mary need help? What sort oh. of <laughs> crisis is she in that I can no. overwhelm? Beans is clearly <laughs> <What>? <laughs> 
w- run out of the house has run to Aunt Mary's <laughs> house. I just like it. Did, I like I checked. I like checked her breathing. I was like, does Aunt Mary know she stopped breathing? Which like I telepathically, pu- I wouldn't put it past Aunt Mary to have some sort of intuition from yeah, afar about like beans. G- complete nightmare, right? Uh-huh. And so I was just like, this can't be real. I just got to I let it go to voicemail, right? Okay. I'm like, it's 2.30 in the morning. Must be a butt dial. Right? Must be an accident. Something happened. Yeah. I And then there's a voicemail that's just like, hey, memory, it's Aunt Mary. Call me back. And I'm like, <gasps> what is happening? What is going on? Did you look at voicemail transcription? I did. I was so nervous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, when you go to click the voicemail and it goes, it's currently transcribing. And I'm like, well, I guess I'll wait. Yeah. This is a big one where bring- I was like, I... <laughs> This could be so wild that I need to read it before I hear the voice. Yeah. Right. So anyway, so I'm like, OK, here we go. I call her. Uh huh. She was in the emergency room <gasps> for an emergency appendectomy. OK. Her like uh, her appendix rupture, like whatever it was. OK. And she was just so nervous to not oh. have someone know she was going under anesthesia. Oh. She's like terrified of anesthesia, right? Oh, yeah, it's ter- it is terrifying. Totally. So she was just like, I'm really, really nervous. And I just, I need you to know. And like, she's staying with Beans while we're in Nashville and, <sighs> and Cincinnati next week. And she was just like, and I'll still be, I'll be healed by the time it's time <laughs> to watch Beans. I was like, Mary, I'm really not concerned about that. And we I, can, let's talk through the actual, yeah. like, you need me to hear yes. it, and I hear you and you're okay and I got you and it's fine. Beans is yeah. uh, here no matter what. <laughs> and I was like, you're strong as an ox. You'll be fine. Don't be nervous. Like, I'll come see you tomorrow. And she told me what hospital she was in. So then I get up the next day, you know, walk Beans, hang out a little bit. And yeah. then I just... I. I got nervous because, you know, she has like a normal cell. She doesn't have like an iPhone. Mm-hmm. I don't know what she has. It could be a ladybug. A, it could be one of those. That, a jitterbug. A jitterbug, a jitterbug. It could be. A, I got the jitters. That She just ha- has an actual ladybug that she boop, boop, she boops says, on. Go tell. Go <laughs> tell. Ties a tiny note to the wings of and says, go to memories. A homing ladybug. So I got nervous. She like ran out with her cell phone didn't grab a charger and now her like phone was dead and it's yeah. not like an iphone where there's a universal charger everything was going through my head <laughs> so i call the hospital which i think i've done one other time to be like hey i think my friend is there this oh, is their name so this is in the morning in the morning after. you've already tried to call her on her phone and it's not working um, or that yeah. she t- said that like after surgery she's going to be out of it well no i was just like uh, no i tried calling her phone and, it, and oh, okay, it, she okay. didn't pick up and so i just called the hospital and they're like oh i think she just got it she's just coming too and so i called and and she was just like i'm so thirsty they won't let me <laughs> drink anything she goes i feel like my face is welded shut and i was like oh mary so anyway Long story short, I went to go visit her and yeah. like she she wanted me to bring her like a toothbrush and a card oh. and and um and so I just visited her for a bit and then like sent her pictures of beans and all that jazz. But I know. Wow. The 2.30 a.m. She's doing all right. right yeah. Now? She says she's. Okay. Oh, please. She sent me 10 <laughs> texts over the weekend because there was a, an auction on Amy Winehouse's clothes. <laughs> She's back at it. She was like, oh, my God, you won't believe what this one went for. Check it out. At one point, she said, are you sitting down? And then she said, <laughs> she sent me an Amy Winehouse outfit for one for like 400 grand or something. And I was like, I couldn't have the heart to be like, I'm not as emotionally invested as you. I didn't need to be sitting down. I was like, are you sitting down? Because you've got stitches. I know. That's what I always feel like. There's a projection there of like, <laughs> she should only be sitting down for everything right now. <laughs> So anyway, it oh. was wild. Wow. Yeah, that is um to get the 2.30 a.m. Yeah. call from anyone that you're even slightly close to yeah. is a chaotic state. Also, when you just said that, I, it reminded me of, I think there's a joke, like a kid's joke that's like, what's a dentist's favorite time? 2 f- Two thirty. Two thirty. Two thirty. We got there. We, got there. we, we don't there. do stand up. We don't <laughs> do stand up. <laughs> <laughs> These jokes are more in Nashville and Cincinnati this week and Phoenix next week on November 18th. Um, so anyway, but it was just so funny how instinctually I just saw her name at a crazy point and like <sighs> checked my dog's breathing. I was just like, mm. well, Bre- that's beans, the are, you still, are you still here? <laughs> Meanwhile, she's the one getting cut open. I know. <laughs> truly. I'm over here like truly two fingers to beans neck. However, Mary is one of those people that I would pay for the transcript of what she said while under anesthesia well, or coming out of well, anesthesia. She, did say, she was like, my doctor was re- my uh, I don't know if it's. <laughs> 
like oh, it's like an assistant Anesthesi- surgeon anesthesiologist yeah that's a tough one <laughs> um but she was like he was really cool man i was nervous and i went in yeah. and i said like i'm very very nervous and isn't that and and he was like i'll be with you the whole time and mm-hmm. you're gonna be fine let me give you let me give you something right now that like she already had like a little morphine for pain sure but he was like let me give you a little something that'll just like make you chill out yeah she goes i was so nervous i was crazy they told me when they wheeled me in one minute later i said hey guys (laughs) (laughs) she was feeling good straight up turned into like the scream mask commercials of like what's up hey what's up yeah the budweiser commercials (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that is i don't the, oh man the only time in my adult life other than getting wisdom teeth out that like last year when i did the upper endoscopy yeah the anesthesiologist was so over like uh so Comforting calming you. so yeah. cool like so just even keel that it was unnerving but that's what they have to do but that's they, what they have, have to, to counterbalance the anxiety of it because they're the one going i'm going to take you from a awake state to a sleep state yeah. and i'm needing you to trust me to do it See, so i'm talking to you almost like the way a parent talks to a child uh-huh. <laughs> like every little calming step them down no yeah. seriously because i had only on the cross country drive back i had only listened to one episode of dr death and then i like i oh. super i didn't get like super into it it was a little too much for me i told you we watched the whole show we haven't listened to the podcast but we watched the whole show oh with like christian slater mm-hmm. oh i didn't know it was all out and the baldwin all of it it's been out uh yeah we we <laughs> the went bald through one. So she said, and the bald one <laughs> the bald one <laughs> there is many bald ones and then oh. we watched the we watched the uh documentary of it with all oh. the actual people to see like who was uh you know impersonating oh, who was like like, yeah casted correctly yeah it was no but it was about like that first episode you know it talks about the anesthesiologist who yeah. was the first person to be like Something's this surgery up. was fucked up totally. and i'm gonna have to call him out on it yep and so yeah i'm assuming like they're like the emotional support animal of the of every medical totally. procedure and they are also just in surgical rooms going my only job is this one thing and i'm not allowed to overstep my bounds yeah. into anything else but i can observe and understand that something bad might be happening but Oof. i'm not allowed to do anything because there's a hierarchy in a surgical totally. room oh it's crazy yeah oh remember i feel like there was a little there was like a trend of terrible stories of people waking up during surgery but like not being able to say they were awake remember when that was like a big like a thing <laughs> Uh, I can't say I remember exactly. I don't know what was going on in the world of <laughs> anesthesia, but I remember it was like a, like a, what is it called? Not a wives tale, a legend, like a urban legend oh, of like, oh yeah, no, people are waking up and they can't say I'm awake and they felt the whole well, surgery. There's also, I think it's a real thing. With the whole Dr. Death thing, the undercurrent is that, uh, the amount of lawsuits that can happen mm-hmm. within a hospital is so wild that everyone has to protect themselves in the job that they're doing so it's like we're all working together in surgery but also every man for themselves because i'm not going to be sued for if you Uh do some malpractice shit in front of me because i can't say anything Mm. it's Mm -mm. wild Mm. anyway uh any more (sighs) thoughts on your lasik (laughs) i know right (laughs) at least that you're totally awake and it takes like a minute but yes i'm terrified of all the things of all of the things oh wow If you are a wine drinker like myself, then you know the options are basically limitless. You also probably know what it's like to be super disappointed by a wine that you choose because the label's cute or you want to try something new and then you are completely screwed over once the cork is popped. But as a First Leaf Wine Club member, I only get the showstoppers, baby, the best of the best. That's because First Leaf is a wine club that curates and ships wines that are perfect for you. Not only does First Leaf introduce you to a ton of new wines, but each box, it gets better and better, y'all. When you rate the wine you receive, when you tell them what you like, what you didn't like, First Leaf learns more about you and your palate. Also, seasons change, the time changes, it's getting dark at like noon right now. So all my summer days and fall days of white wines and orange wines, I feel like more getting back into the red. So Bombas is giving me those Cobb Francs, those Merlots, all of those delicious dry reds that my head 
really craves. It gets better though. First Leaf works directly with winemakers so that you get incredible wine 60% off retail price. Okay, 60%. And they have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you receive a bottle that isn't exactly what you're hoping for, First Leaf, get this, will credit your account. So join today and you're gonna get six bottles of wine for $29.95 and free shipping. Just go to tryfirstleaf.com slash TMGW. That's six bottles of wine for $29.95 and free shipping at tryfirstleaf.com slash TMGW. Try it. I'm telling you, you're going to impress your friends. The holidays are basically here, and if you're constantly shopping, cooking, and planning, let DoorDash take some stress off your plate by putting some delicious treats on your plate. That's because DoorDash brings you what you want to eat right now, right to your door, along with the restaurants you love. You can also get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash, whether you need some late night ice cream. <laughs> That speaks to my love language. If you forgot a key ingredient for dinner or you just need to stock up for the week, DoorDash has it. And with over 300,000 partners, when I say DoorDash has it, I mean that DoorDash has it. Popeyes, check. Your favorite local cafe, double check. That food truck down the street, triple check. I order from DoorDash way more than is um, good. That's not true. It's great. Uh, I love it. <laughs> it is so convenient. And for someone that uh, does forget items, does have a call to action in the middle of the night for ice cream, it's the perfect service. For a limited time, you guys can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on your first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code TMGW2021. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code TMGW2021. 2021. Don't forget, that's code TMGW2021 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Should I just keep going? I just I mean, had a okay. hell of a day, but you I want you to get a... in there if you got something. I, I don't have my, I'm What happened here. to your hand? <laughs> I hurt my hand. That's not that's not the main takeaway. Uh, no, I went to a concert this weekend. I saw Elliot's story. Yeah. It's very weird for me to see you enjoying music well it here's feels the thing. out of place we well it, that's a, <laughs> a sweeping uh opinion of what was happening in that moment oh, i okay. no, i was having a great time yeah. because we'll one, tell the people what you went and saw i, I will uh, mom i'll tell them <laughs> oh. <laughs> no i went to angels and airwaves it's the band that tom DeLong from blink 182 started a while ago elliot has been a big uh, fan fascinated by the band tom all of it and uh, we've listened to some of the music. He booked these tickets a while ago, so it's just been on our calendar. We went, and it was at the Palladium, which mm -hmm. is wild because that's a venue in Los Angeles that my only other connection to it is the first ever streamies we went oh, to. Oh, that's the only time you've been? Yeah. And oh, so, yeah. I've seen Tenacious D there a couple times. Yeah, I've never seen a concert and there. And Ween, I'm not sure. But they get, like, good mid-tier. Yeah. yeah. And um, this this band has a very like blink 182 mm. type of audience i told elliot jokingly before we went i wonder how many like van slide ons with the checkered print we'll see and it was so many did everywhere. you see like more men wearing hair gel than you have in a long no, time no hats because tom wears like a baseball cap the whole oh. time while he's performing so all these guys are wearing like hats but it's like you go down to the floor and they're like a pop punk band yeah. so it's dancing music and it's just all these like adult men yes. that are having a great time, but they just don't know what to do with their bodies. That's how it was at the Judas Priest show. Yeah. And and then some of them have like wives or girlfriends that are like trying to dance, but they're like by themselves with their partner, like not knowing like no one else is moving around them. And so like this, there were these two couples in front of us where the wives were clearly trying to dance, but they're trying to get the husbands to like and loosen up and, and had, truly enjoy it. Yeah. Just had like full hands and jean pockets uh -huh. and like bopping a little bit. And so I was like, I'm going to have the most fun. And if I am the butt of everyone's joke, I don't care because this is dance music and the lights and lasers were just like yeah. so fun. And we haven't been to a concert in I don't know how long. Lean was, in. Yeah, we fully leaned in. And that's why my calves are exhausted today. Oh, I your also, calves are moving. 
I considered it partial. Like I am not a super fan of this band, but I'm enjoying live music. And yeah. also I'm going to get some aerobic workout in right now. I'm going to be yeah. popping around and having a great time. And yeah, there was like a couple people that clearly, you know, you lock eyes and you're like, yeah, you're also having fun and we're giving each other permission to have fun. But there was so many people when you zoom out that are just like standing yeah watching and kind of bopping but i can't imagine for the band just to watch i mean this is what they do all the time is just right. watch guys that are just like i feel this on a level that's really deep and meaningful to me but i can't get my body to move in the same ways that my brain connects to this. yeah you're looking out and you're going it's kind of like this is a weird comparison but like if you've been recognized before I know I do this all the time I have no shame and I'll just say like do you want to pick because I don't want anyone to walk away mm. and be like fuck I wanted a picture sure. but I didn't want to like and for someone who's like on a massive scale like that to look out and be like I know you've idolized me since you were 14 just have fun tonight guys yeah. quit just bopping it was yeah I had a great time it was Good. also did Elliot was, love it? He had a great time, too. It was also like not that full, too. Mm. So it was just a bit of like a weird energy. But also I did appreciate that everyone had to show Vax cards before you went love in. It. Super great. And everyone was just like chill and enjoying themselves. But obviously a little bit like are we all everyone we allowed doing okay? to and also uh tom seemed a little drunk uh, oh really and th but it's also like their third night in a row doing a show there which is something that i've never experienced doing the same show over and over in like the same venue maybe that's i mean like third in a row i bet the other two nights were more packed because they'd be like, maybe they'll cancel the third show. Maybe. But they, yeah, it was also, I was hoping that, because he talks about aliens. I, was I know. I saw have, you wear your alien sweatshirt. That's what I was signal boosting. I was going to say, did anyone like wink at you and be like, I see what you did there. I tried. I was really, <laughs> I might have overcompensated too much. I was really waiting for the alien talk. There wasn't any alien talk. He only talked about um, his uh, getting too drunk the night before the show. And then he talked something about his daughter. And then I found out that his, I was like, oh, he's talking about like a young daughter. His daughter is like 15 or something. Oh, yeah. Which I had no idea. I was like, wild. Wow. <laughs> Wowie wow. Which is so funny that you did that because last week when Chip was out of town, I got one of his record of the month clubs he mm. sends me and it was a Blink-182 album. Oh, fun. And I'm like, oh, I can't wait for us to come home from drinks and you put that out on and I see like young chip emerge yep. from you oh for sure like, there's gonna be a <laughs> reveal of a past self that still exists inside of him yeah there was uh i was telling Elliot before i was like this is an la show i bet travis barker shows up at some point and Elliot was like absolutely not <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what Tom DeLonge thinks about uh, Travis's uh, engagement to a Kardashian. I thought maybe it would be a moment at the show, but that's how little I know about th what their connection is to each other as adult people in the world. I no. mean, if you're in a massive band like that and then you're starting other bands instead of like banking on the reunion nostalgia yeah. then there's some serious rifts in your relationship well yeah he did talk about his friend mark that he used casually Harper. hopper hoppus Hop yeah <laughs> uh, because mark i i think is overcome cancer or re yeah recently had and i think they've come back together as friends but oh, he talks okay. like he says like you i have this friend named mark and then everyone goes Wah! And he goes, and Summers, like, coming out, Summers. Summers, the producer <laughs> yeah. of Unwrapped and Double Dare. <laughs> <laughs> and then that giant nose comes down yeah. and he just plunges with his hand. Honestly, that's the crossover we deserve. Uh, Blink-182 and, and I would have loved Double it, Dare. But I realized all of my hopes and expectations were truly uh, influenced by the idea of going to Taylor Swift concerts and she's yes. pulling out like A-list celebrity after I'm like who's going to come out at this show and then me <laughs> going naively that's not how concerts work for people yeah concerts <laughs> aren't just like drop in celebrities that's why I was like I bet Tom might be there and also maybe Travis and the Kardashians will be I don't know Elliot <laughs> Oh my god. Either way, I had a great time. Good. Well, um, I'm glad you had a good time on Saturday night because I had the worst time on Sunday. 
Okay. Well, here's what I'll tell you. I know about this because I don't know much, but okay. I know that I saw your story that was like, I'm finally in the pool mm-hmm. in the in Palm Springs. And then cut to immediately after you going, <laughs> you guys saw that, that was beautiful. Some shit has gone down. I'll tell you about it on the podcast. And I was like, well, I can't wait to hear about well, this on the podcast. Okay. For y'all listening, you know that we've been in a renovation at our Palm Springs house that we share. And it's like yeah. almost done. It's like, it's, gorgeous. it's like you can see the finish line. But as soon as you get to the very end, they're like, no, you've got like. We're adding five more feet to the race. You it's know what like, I mean? um, yeah, it's like when marathon runners start shitting their pants before yeah, yeah, they get like, to the end. You're like, we're so close, but I don't want to get it dirty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so I went there on Thursday. You came Friday night, yeah. and then I and I stayed Saturday and Sunday, and just like did te- tedious shit to help the cause, right? Yeah. So, oh my god! All right. Well, first of all, we had to get new internet. I already told you this. This isn't that exciting, but. They were going to come on Sunday and give me a warning of when they were coming, yeah. right? No. 7.45 in the morning, I'm legally blind and butt-ass naked, and the doorbell rings. So that's how the day starts, okay. is like throwing on something as fast as possible and then being like, please don't leave, one yeah. of those things, right? <laughs> so I I get that going. I get some junk hauled away. And then I've decided, uh, well, I talked to someone the day before. I was like, we should get our our pool area pressure washed. Yeah. Like it's got just like build up and dirt. And yeah. We got rid scuzzy. of a bunch of old outdoor furniture that had collected a bunch of. Yeah. So it, it just looks a little scuzz. Yeah. So I did something I've never done before, which was I found someone on Angie's list. <laughs> what? How did you end up on Angie's list and why was <laughs> Craig I, Craig was too busy and I, Task Rabbit was I no the thing is it's Angie's list is high rated. I always see that that bitch on TV. I don't know. I looked up like Wait, is it an actual woman that Angie is Angie, an actual woman that started A- Angie it? I. She's on the commercial. She's got she's got like a red hair and a little Karen haircut. She's like, I'm Angie. I wouldn't stare you wrong. Oh yeah. And she's listed this like, at all. Okay. Oh, it's like a big national like Yelp type of thing. Yeah, I know. I know oh, okay. of Angie's list. I didn't know that there was actual oh, Angie behind Angie it. Angie is the face of Angie's. Wow. Okay. I know. Okay. I know. I know. It does. It's not like an acronym for like a network of good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so anyway, I had looked up like best power washers in Palm mm-hmm. Springs, et cetera. And, and I kept just like getting voicemails for the top 10. Yeah. So then I went and looked up again and it was like, oh. Type in what you need, Angie's list, and we'll and basically they'll like people will text you a couple quotes, but it fits when okay. you want to get it done. So I was and like, it's over text, great. Yeah, and I was like, I want to get this done tomorrow. Yeah, so it's one thing we have yep. fucking done, right? So I do that, and like thirty minutes later, I immediately get a call from this guy Tommy, who's like, I got, I have your information from Angie's list. I could come tomorrow, like okay. around noon. Does that work for you? And his like kids are in the background. He's like, sorry, my kids are being loud. I'm like, no problem. Okay. He's being chill. I send him a video. Like, it's just, it seems like, oh, this is relaxed and great. Okay. Cool. Okay. Right. And he's even like, oh, and I actually, I live like four blocks away. So it'll be easy. You can just let me know when you want to come and I'll, when you want me to come and I'll be there. I was like, great. Cause I'm like going to be juggling a lot yeah. of other things. Right. This motherfucker <sighs> pushes the ball and makes me wait all day long, all day long. And so I said to him, since he was like a, he was like a fix it handyman yeah, kind of yeah, guy. Yeah. And I was like, oh, by the way, I said to him in the morning, I go, by the way, do you have a truck I could, that like I could borrow or I could task you to go pick up? I need a couple cut pieces of plywood yeah. from Home Depot mm-hmm. for one of our beds, yeah. right? And so I was like, these are the measurements. I've, I've done this at Home Depot. You buy it. They cut it exactly yeah. how you need it. It takes four seconds. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, no problem. I'll pick that up for you. And so great, great, great. At 430, when it's already dark because yeah. of daylight savings, yeah. I was like, yo, dude, uh, are you coming? Yeah. And he was like, can we actually do in the morning? I haven't uh, been in the pool all day. I haven't done anything because I was like, at, at any point he's going to show yeah. up. Right. And so I was like, OK. Can you at least please drop off the plywood? Yeah. I just need to see if this works. He's like, no problem. Uh, yeah, I already got him. And I was like, okay. He comes at 630. Uh-huh. And he goes, will you bring a tape measure outside? I've got to cut them. <gasps> I go, what? I just asked you to get them done at Home Depot. He was like, I just already had the plywood. And so I have my saw. It'll take two minutes. I was like, OK. okay. Meanwhile, it's dark. So yeah. I said, by the way, it's dark yeah. and it's really dark outside. I'm leaving the tape measure in the mailbox. Yeah. OK. Right. I was like, I didn't want to go off. It's really dark. In front know, of our home. I was sounds, like, you're a stranger. This sounds like the start of a horror film. <laughs> so I leave it and then I hear him come up and Grace, 
He uh-huh. started sawing in front of our house for 45 minutes. <gasps> it's two cuts. It's two cuts. Yeah. On the plywood. Yeah. For 45 minutes to the point where I went out there and lied. Did he need a light? Like, was he, he had sawing? a headlamp. Okay. He had a headlamp. Okay. So it's like he's camping and cutting at the same. Okay. It's like if you walked by and you just see a headlamp and a saw, you'd be like, someone's. Something's going on something's over there. Something's fucking up a body. <laughs> someone's yeah. about to bury a body. So he, and he's perfectly nice. And I just come out and I'm like, hey, what's up? I'm Amory who, who you talk to. Uh. Are you almost done? Like my neighbors are texting me complaining. Yeah. And he was like, sorry, I thought I had my tools with me. I didn't. So I had to borrow my buddy's saw and it sucks. And like this wood. And so he just keeps going. So finally, I was just like, please just be done in the next five minutes. Or like, you got to stop. And no, yeah, nowhere through this process did he ever say like, I'm sorry, I have to cancel this he, situation. I can't actually get this done for you. No, no. Right. So I'm like inside about to explode. Yeah. I'm so annoyed. Yeah. Right. I'm like, I waited for this person all day and now he shows up after dark and starts sawing oh, badly. Yeah. So I get it. I get it in the house. It works great. Whatever. And then he leaves me a minute long voice note and it's like, buddy, we're not friends. Voice notes are intimate. Yeah. We just talked about how you didn't pick up the phone for Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Who you love dearly. Yeah. A voice note from right? a man from Angie's list. Not even yeah. a voicemail. Like he full on <laughs> sent me a voice note. And the uh, only way I'm going to get this information, I can't transcribe it. I have to listen. And I was like, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry. Like uh, my buddy and the tools. And like, I, I really apologize. I was cringing every time I had to do another saw cut. And like, I'm really sorry. I'll see you in the morning uh, to to power wash your, yeah. your pool. And I'm like, okay. So I just text him and I was like, all good, dude. Um, all good. Send me uh how much it is just for the wood and right. the drop off, yeah. right? And uh, but also I need you here by nine o'clock because I need to go to the DMV. Yeah, tomorrow. He goes, no problem. I'll see you at ten. Oh. <laughs> I kid you not. I said no. You have to be here by nine. He said I'll see you at, at 10. ten. Directly, like in the same line, like the next text. I'll s- what? I know. I'll see you at ten. I go, no, man. You have to be here by nine. If you're running late, let me know because we will we'll have cancel, to res- yeah. reschedule. I said reschedule, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So he's like, okay, got it. No worries. Got it. Got it. I don't trust this. So Grace, I get up today. I get ready. He shows up. Uh-huh. Everything's good to go. I mean, he's like 15 minutes late. Okay. Everything's good to go. But at this point, I'm just like. Let's just get her done. Well, I just. Yes. Yeah. I just have to have it done. So yeah. I, I like let him into the back. I make sure all the doors are locked. All that jazz. Uh. Oh, I'm skipping over what happened last night, but let me just tell you the rest of this okay, guy's okay, story. Okay. So I go and I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to go to the DMV. I come back. First of all, it looks no different. <laughs> Did he bring his own power washer? Or oh, yeah. He, we had? No, he got there and he said, do you have any gasoline? And I said, excuse me, what? And he goes, I need gas for the power washer. I said, no, I don't just have gasoline. He goes, do you have one of those like, like red gasoline things where when you run out of gas, I go fill up? I go, no, I don't. No, I don't run out of gas at my own home. <laughs> yeah, well, we live half a block from a gas station. So anyway, so I come back and I'm like, this is point. I can't believe I'm about to pay for a power wash where uh, nothing is different. It's all the same. Right. But here's the kicker. I come back from the DMV. OK, I'm in the house annoyed because he said again, just like the song two minutes. He was like, this is going to ta- take t- tops an hour. It's two hours. Right. Oh. I peek my head out and I go, how much longer, dude? I'm sorry. I have to wrap this up. And I didn't even say, like, I'm going back to right, L.A. Yeah. The house is going to be empty. I was like, I have guests coming very soon. It's like, no problem. I, uh, I'll finish it up quick, which made it him even worse at it. So then I'm sitting on the couch eating a quinoa bowl and I see him start talking to someone and he's like, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? And then I'm like, oh, it must be another gardener. Uh, a like neighbor, what? Someone, someone. Someone's coming and they're like, oh, shit. Sorry, we're here at the same yeah. time. <laughs> oh, no. Out from around the side is. Do you ever see someone when you're like when you're like, you're still drunk from last night? It's a woman yeah. in a hot pink tank top with the biggest fake boobs I've ever seen, about five teeth and a side pony, <laughs> coming, walking around the side. She, and he goes, go back in the truck, go back in the truck, <laughs> go back in the truck. And I'm like, and I'm just like crouching down and watching every <laughs> I'm like, who is this woman who he probably, that's probably why he didn't come yesterday. He probably got do- day drunk and then came and sawed it all weird. And 
I like slept with this random person and was like, hey, I have to go do this real quick. It'll take 20 minutes. And meanwhile, she's been sitting in his truck with no AC for two hours. So she comes around and she's like, I'm hot in there. I'm <laughs> Oh and I'm just God. like, what is happening? What is happening? So then she leaves. He he pretends like he's going to spray her, right? So she... Wait, <laughs> so they're still flirting <laughs> amongst they're, all of this. They're, st- they're still flirting. <laughs> they're st- Wait, they're still so she has this. been in this... In our backyard. <laughs> okay, I'm having a hard time processing this. She's been in the truck the whole time while you're enjoying a quinoa bowl, but pissed off inside. And I've already gone to DMV and got a new license. She's been in the blazer blazing for two hours. And then she was over it, right? <laughs> so she comes out. But did he ask for gasoline for the his car? No, or for, for the his... power washer. He said he needed gasoline. I guess like a lawnmower. But then he used the power washer without the gasoline? No, eventually? he went and got some. He oh, went and got some. Oh, okay. So anyway, I'm sitting there and I'm like, who is this woman? It was wild. Like I could I like I knew what she smelled like, right? No shade. But I was just like, who is this woman he brought home? And now he was like, oh, BRB. I just got to do one quick power wash. So anyway, I had moved our furniture off into like the gravel areas yeah. away from the cement. So like he wouldn't have to okay. spray around it. Okay. So our little couch is on the opposite side of the pool. Right. Uh, so yeah. I can see it. It's facing me. It's not by the house. Right. So I go back to like doing my thing and pretending I didn't see that. All of a sudden, <laughs> she comes around again. He goes, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> She she has come. She is sitting on our outdoor couch with a sandwich, drinking a truly. <laughs> and I'm like, what? He brought a date. He brought a date. And she's tailgating in our backyard. And she's truly like walking around the pool like they might fuck there. Right. Where? I'm like, I'm like, Where? if they start making out, I can't even. Where did she get the sandwich? Where, she where did she get the truly? <laughs> Has that just been baking in the car with her? And she Grace, was like, "It was, it was ten thirty a.m. Oh, and she was drinking a pineapple truly on our love seat, <laughs> eating a sandwich. Like you gotta, you just tell that she'd been up all fucking night. So had he, right? Wow. And I was just like, is he even going to acknowledge that he brought his date from last night? With the power wash. I don't know how to make. I. This is very hard for me to process right now. <laughs> yeah. This is insane. And yeah. also, maybe why Angie's list D- isn't the most reliable list. That's I list. said Angie did me dirty. That Karen can go fuck herself. So are we not sure that that was Angie? I mean, yeah, with yeah, the yeah. sandwich and the truly. She looked like a cross between Angie and Angeline. Like I'm not kidding. It was like no. Like it was like a sexy. So then, he did. He did. He power washed without changing it cleaning it it sucked it sucked right so then i was she got some sun and a truly and a sandwich she had a nice afternoon (laughs) (laughs) in our backyard so then they leave like i see him packing up his his truck and meanwhile his back his back door of his suv won't stay open there's a two by four holding it open right well i'm curious what the fuck else is in his truck that's gonna pop out and just be like i've been waiting yeah i was like based on the convo yesterday i thought it was this nice family man who was like spending the day with his kids who was gonna come out he lives a couple blocks away all good blah 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 and i was like what has happened so he's clearly finishing and and we have a fucked up side door yeah so he's like by the way this is your handle's fucked up i was like i know and i'm just lying he's casing the joint i was like i was like i'm just getting it i'm getting it fixed next week no worries and he was like cool well i'm done out here lol he said lol to every every single text he sent said lol oh but did he say lol in conversation no 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 oh oh, okay no more of a lol how old is this person this this guy was probably like 35 handsome like whatever tommy So he just goes, I can fix that for you next week. Like I said, I live around the block. I can do handyman stuff. I actually, I own a, and it was just like, uh, the story was changing. And I said, no, that's okay. Please send me um, a receipt for the wood and here's, uh, and your cash app. uh, Cause he didn't, he didn't do Venmo. I was like, and your cash app name and I'll get you paid today. Oh my God. And he was like, okay, just let me know if you need anything. And he hasn't sent me his cash app thing. And I'm like, I, they're in that house right now. No, no, no. I, you have no idea how many how many th- doors I checked and all that. Jazz. You just said uh, home alone booby trap. Yeah, everything. I was truly like. So anyway, it was wild. Oh when when she, when she cracked God. open the truly, I was truly dead. I mean, 
they added some weird version of Bonnie and Clyde. And I don't know what they're running from or to <sighs> or what is going on. Bomba's mission is simple. Make the most comfortable clothes ever and match every item sold with an equal amount donated. Oh my goodness. So this holiday, when you gift Bombas to someone on your list, you're also giving them to someone in need. It's a give, give. Bombas designed their socks, shirts, and underwear, scandalous, to be the clothes that you can't wait to put on every day and you'll never want to take them off. Everything they make, seriously, is so soft, seamless, tagless, and luxuriously cozy. I am obsessed with their socks. All of my socks are completely jealous because every time I look at them, I immediately shift my eyes to Bombas and they mean nothing to me. They're made from the softest materials out there like merino wool, pima cotton, and even cashmere. Plus, there's a pair of Bombas socks for every setting. There's performance styles for sports, holiday styles for festivities, and a lot more. Socks, underwear, and t-shirts are the three most requested clothing items at a homeless shelter. So, Bombas donates one for every item you buy. Go to bombas.com slash teamgw and get 20% off any purchase during their big holiday sale. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash T-M-G-W for 20% off. Bombas.com slash T-M-G-W. Seriously, your feet will never like you more. Look, sometimes you just need to search for slightly compromising or embarrassing things online. I'm talking about hemorrhoid cream. I'm talking about, I, I don't know why hemorrhoid cream is the first thing that comes to mind. I haven't done it, but I'm sure someone out there has. And yeah, you could use incognito mode, but guess what? Incognito mode doesn't actually hide your activity. No matter what mode you use or how, how often you're clearing your browser history, your internet service provider can still see every single website you've ever visited and sell that data to ad companies. Whoa, I know. That's why you shouldn't go online without using ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is an app that reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers so your ISP can't see the sites you visit. ExpressVPN is fast, it's easy to use, and it's available on all your devices. I've even used ExpressVPN to watch international programming that isn't available to me in my current location. So if you're interested in protecting your online activity today, get with the VPN rated number one by CNET. Visit our exclusive link at expressvpn.com slash TMGW and you can get an extra three months free on a one-year package. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash TMGW, expressvpn.com slash TMGW to learn more. But let me tell you, because I skipped to this morning because it was crazy, but the rest of my day yesterday, so he finally shows up, he's sawing, you know, and I've like, it's finally like 8 p.m. Oh, wait. I, so we're going back in time to yesterday. This last okay. night. Okay. Little thing. So it's like 8 p.m. The day is finally done. I've had so many people there. I've like cleaned and cleaned and done all this shit. And, yeah. and now I have an actual headache from the saw. So I'm like, I'm going to make a cocktail. Yeah. And by God, I've been here four days and haven't put a toe in our pool. I'm going to get in the hot tub. Yeah. Right. Oh, no. So so I I go out and I'm like, Oh shit, I need to grab a towel. I go back inside. I come out and I'm like, I'm going to do a little skinny dip. I'm by myself. Okay. Having a good time, right? I, look, I would support that in any other scenario, but <laughs> I am nervous for what you're about to tell no, me. No, so I go out there. I'm having a little skinny dip. I'm like, good. I need to decompress, etc. So I'm I have my drink. I get up, get put on my little our little flimsy towel. I walk there. The sliding glass door locked behind me. <gasps> How? That's I never have, happened before. Didn't think it was possible, right? It only locks from the inside. Yeah. You can't like pre-lock no. a sliding glass door. It won't close. I guess way. when I closed it, it somehow dropped. <gasps> Grace. Not only that, you guys, our side door can uh, like that people come in and out of like to get to the yard is a key as well. Yeah. So you can't leave uh, unless oh it's unlocked. God. I am locked oh in the God. backyard after dark. Oh, my God. Naked. Oh, my God. At oh my 8 p.m. God. on a Sunday. What did you do? First of all, you broke, you freak, broke out. <laughs> freak out. I'm checking every window. Yeah, I'm course. like just going, what the fuck? Because there, the spare key wasn't even in the front, right, like yeah. a hide a key. Yeah. Like, I wasn't even a hide a key. And I was like, I am fucked. I am fucked. I'm looking at Beans being like, can I somehow train her remotely to <laughs> open? <laughs> Beans, this is where your mind control comes in. Oh, do it. Prove it. <laughs> naked. 20% of my phone. 
and I'm just like, I oh don't, my I'm, God. I don't even understand what I'm supposed to do right oh now. Oh my God. What do I do? So I immediately, uh, text Claire, our yeah. friend and, uh, who's our designer <sighs> as well. And I'm like, you're not going to believe this. I'm locked in the backyard <laughs> naked. <laughs> And she was like, what kind of hijink 90s movie do you live in? I was like, I, do, I just can't even. So she so she calls the guy who was like doing our tiling and stuff in our uh-huh. house. And uh, she's like, I'm putting you on a thread with Roberto. Maybe he has a An key, key and is, is there. And he was like, I don't have a key with me. Oh, my like God. and I guess like he lives like an hour away. Yeah. And I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And like I'm seeing my battery start to leave. Oh, it's dead ass dark. Oh, my God. God, I'm like, am I sleeping on a love seat naked in our backyard and then hoping to figure out something else tomorrow? Like, then, what? like maybe my phone will be solar panel charged yeah. in the morning. And so I'm freaking out, and I'm like, uh, do I call a locksmith? Uh, yeah. Last time I called a locksmith in North Carolina, it literally took them like four hours to open the, you know, to get it yeah. open. Yeah. And also, will your phone still be uh, alive by the time right? they get there? Yeah. So I call our one contact at our rental company, who oh, I've God. never called ever. Yeah. We text when there's a problem, something. And I just I couldn't even remember her name. Oh, and no. I just go, hi, it's Mamrie Hart from fill in the blank address. I am so sorry to call you on a Sunday night. This oh is an emergency. God. She goes, oh, OK. Uh, what's that? Like, she's not at work. She's having a Sunday night. Right. Go, and, and, you know, you get worried, too, because it got dark so early. Everyone goes. That's like the earliest people go to bed on a Sunday in Palm Springs. On daylight savings. Yeah. So I go, I am so sorry. But like I, I just came out to my hot tub for a little dip. Full disclosure, I'm naked <gasps> and the door locked behind me. I am stuck in my yard <gasps> with no clothes and no way to get in my home. Is there anyone at the office who has the key to my house? Oh, and she goes, God. oh, my God. OK, well, hold on. The office closes in like four minutes. <gasps> let me hold on. Let me call you back. Wow. She calls wow. someone. She goes, he was walking out the door and heard the phone ring. He'll be there in 10 minutes. Oh, my God. And this guy comes in the door. I'm seeing Beans lose her mind that there's like stranger danger. Walking she's, through. Is she inside still? She's by still herself? inside. So you guys are communicating through I'm try. I'm trying. To- I thought she was in the backyard no. with you. I'm trying to be like, how do I turn Beans into a circus dog remotely? <laughs> Get the keys, Beans. Get, Get the keys. Beans. <laughs> Truly like I'm an Ernest goes to camp. Like bring me bring me the, the jail keeper's keys, sir. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the key ring. So, and this uh, ten minutes later, this guy walks in. Oh. He's shielding his eyes because I think he oh. thinks I don't even have a towel. Right. Just comes, unlocks it. I'm in a towel. I go, thank you so much. You have no idea what a dire situation that was. He goes, no worries, no worries. Please have a good night. Oh my! And I'm just God. like, that was the end of the day of days. Holy and I thought shit. we were done. And then, and then, t- truly morning. And then you had, <laughs> and then this goddess <laughs> walk into your life. Just, Holy. I was like, (laughs) me. I left and all of that. I I said, I'm a dealer celebrity. Get me out of here. (laughs) (laughs) Isn't that wild? That's insane. That is insane. I I did a little play by play on my camera. I'm putting on Patreon. Okay. I was just like, I'm saving this for Patreon of the actual fear in my face. Oh my God. I don't know what I would have (laughs) done. I would have Kool-Aid manned one of the windows and broken it and then would have been like, I'm going to buy a new window. Don't worry. I have freaked out. But they're all like so hardcore. I I was like, there's no way, thank God, like to break into our house. That was lovely to know. It's like Fort Knox. But I was truly like, I don't want to call a locksmith on a Sunday night of Pride weekend in Palm Springs. And then they spend... And then how do I even communicate with them for the backyard? I walk to the front and I'm like, I swear it's the homeowner. Please unlock the front door and then I'll show you my ID, which is expired. I'm going to the DMV <laughs> tomorrow. Like everything was so sketchy. Oh, oh. That's wild. Yeah. So Whew. that was the rest. Of- <laughs> what a weekend you've had. My God, <laughs> that's absolutely insane. Uh, I'm exhausted on your behalf. I mean, but I'm glad you got a little skinny dip in between. All that. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm going to take 10 minutes for me and I'm <laughs> fucked and I'm <laughs> absolute. And I almost went out there without a towel. I walked to the Same. hot tub and was like, wait, 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 you're going to drip. You're going to drip. Go get a towel. You got it. Okay. Because we normally keep towels in the little thing out there. And I was like, oh, that's empty. I got to go and get one. I mean, it's the perfect storm. It was truly the perfect storm. Oh, my God. No, wait. That's what that girl dances under. Truly, (laughs) comma, the perfect storm. (laughs) 
<sighs> so yeah so yeah i'm exhausted today i'm exhausted yeah warranted and yeah you know what guys yeah for more tales like this please come to our tour please or uh you can see the dates at this might get weird.com we're gonna be in nashville and cincinnati this week with yep. john cozart with john cozart and phoenix next week and then a bunch of dates New York, Boston, Philadelphia, and Tampa all in uh, January. Yeah. And in the meantime, check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash this might get weird. This did get this. Yeah. This truly (laughs) got weird.